You know, I had no intention on making another video today. I've been at my uncle's funeral all afternoon. My Pelicans are about to tip off here in about 15 or 20 minutes against the Kings. I intended on having a nice, relaxing afternoon with my fiance and my dogs watching the game. But I am so pissed off right now with Dennis Allen. I just had to come on here and vent my frustrations. I don't think I have ever said that I have hated someone here on the channel. I don't hate anyone, but speaking in terms of him purely as a head coach for my Saints, I hate Dennis Allen. I hate this dude as the Saints head coach. Could you be a bigger pansy? Could you be any weaker? First of all, I want to apologize to Derek Carr. Now, you guys know I am not big on public apologies, but I feel like I owe Derek Carr an apology. Even though I have not fully blamed the problems in New Orleans on Derek Carr, I have lumped him in with Dennis Allen and Pete Carmichael, and that's just not fair to Derek Carr. Now, I'm still not sold on him as the long-term quarterback for the Saints, but clearly, Derek Carr is not the problem. He's not even part of the problem. After what I just watched in the post-game press conference, if Denise Allen is not fired first thing tomorrow morning, Gail Benson, she should go ahead and fire Mickey Loomis. If it were up to me, Denise, he would have been fired last October. If Mickey Loomis doesn't have the balls to fire Denise, then he should go ahead and lose his job too. I'm over it. I've been over it. I have never been this apathetic about my Saints. And no, I did not watch the game today. I have stuck to my word. I am refusing to watch this team until Denise Allen is no longer employed. And look, I have nothing but respect for the players on this roster. These guys deserve nothing but respect from this fan base. The entire season, they have fought through adversity. They have dealt with an apathetic fan base. They have overcome incompetent coaching from the worst coaching staff in the league. And this roster, they have found a way to finish the season 9-8. and eight. What they do not deserve is is some dude like Jeff Duncan from NOLA.com doing the dirty work for the Saints front office and blaming Marshawn Lattimore for the team's problems. I don't know if you can tell right now, I'm pissed off. It takes a lot to get me mad. It takes a lot to get me heated. But this motherfucker, Dennis Allen, this asshole has a special way of pissing me off. From what I've been told, over the past five weeks, the Saints they have started to resemble an actual football team. Derek Carr and the offense have improved. For the love of God, I hope they haven't improved to the point where the front office is going to retain Peter Beater Carmichael. But either way, they finished the season 4-1. and one. Now, obviously, all four wins came against bad teams. But KC, what about the Bucs? They're a playoff team. Uh, yeah, the Bucs suck. They're a playoff team by default. But today, today... The Saints completely dominate the Falcons in the second half. Looks like the game was tied up at halftime. Saints come out in the second half and completely destroyed the Falcons, their biggest rival. This team could go 2-15, and 15, and if those two wins came against the Falcons, a lot of people in New Orleans, they would be happy about it. Final minute of the game, though. Falcons are out of timeouts. Saints have the ball near the goal line. This is the easiest play call of the season for Petey and Denise. Matter of fact... It's their favorite play call because it involves men getting on their knees. The obvious call here is to kneel, run out the clock. That was the call that was given to the Saints offense. There was just one problem for Denise, one tiny problem. The leaders, I mean the players, they didn't want to kneel the ball. Saints running back Jamal Williams, he's been busting his ass all season. He has fought through injuries. We don't know if he will be back in New Orleans next season. Hell, with this league... You don't know if Jamal Williams will be playing football in the NFL next season. The guys on the field, they wanted to get Jamal Williams a touchdown. They wanted to reward their teammate for all his hard work throughout the season. And they also wanted to embarrass their division rivals. But the pretend head coach, the grown man named Denise, he demanded that they kneel the ball. <laughs> so what did the players do? They said, 
Fuck you, Denise. We're getting our boy Jamal a touchdown. Saints line up in victory formation. They pretend like they are going to kneel the ball. Jamal Williams scores an easy touchdown. For a moment, for a moment, for the first time in his tenure as a head coach, Dennis Allen had won the respect of this fan base. At the time, the fans didn't know that the players on the field overrode the play call. Fans thought that Denise had found his balls and ran up the score on the Falcons. After the game, Falcons head coach Arthur Smith runs across the field and tears into Denise. He's cussing him out. He is completely emasculating him on national television. Instead of Denise being a man and telling Arthur Smith, if you don't want us to score, find a way to stop us. Instead of doing that, Denise he tries to console Artie. I understand, Artie. Don't be mad at me. I'm Denise. Let's be friends. I love you. You love me. We're the worst coaches in the league with a great big hug and a peek at your man boobs. Won't you call me Denise too? This loser... He allows himself to be emasculated in front of his players, in front of his home crowd. That was bad enough, but it gets worse. Oh, it gets worse. After he witnessed a what a real man looks like, Denise, he got on his pink pony and he rode to his press conference. For some reason, the media is still wasting their time asking this yentl questions. Well, KC, what is a yentl? I have no idea. I think it's the male version of a yenta, but with Denise, it might be more appropriate to use the original term. But anyway, okay, okay, okay. You're coming off a win against your biggest rival, a beatdown. For the first time in your career, you finish the season with a winning record. The first thing you should be doing is thanking the players on this roster for covering up your incompetence all season. You should be happy. You should be in a good mood. The good Lord has blessed you with the opportunity to make all of us miserable again next season. What does Denise do? What is the first thing he says at this press conference? Does he show his appreciation to the players? Does he thank Mrs. Benson and Mickey Loomis for being overly patient with his incompetent ass? Does he thank the fan base for selling their tickets to opposing fans throughout the season so the Superdome doesn't look empty on Sundays? No, no, and no. What does Dennis Allen do? What is the first thing out of his face before the media can even ask a question? Watch for yourself. And I'm going to start off by apologizing to Arthur Smith. Um, that was not a play that we intended to run down there to finish out that game. That's not who we are. That's not how we operate. Uh, we should have taken a knee. So uh, I want to apologize to them. Because, um, look, we're all like, it, it, it's, we got a good rivalry. Um, and, it, and it's a heated rivalry. Um, but there's a way we go about doing our business. And Are you kidding me? Was it just me or did Denise look like he was about to cry? This dude was emotional because his team embarrassed their biggest rival. Well, that's not nice. That was mean. That's not who we are. We're nice guys. Yippee! After his apology, Dennis Allen proceeded to throw the entire offense under the bus. He told the media that he was not responsible for that touchdown. He wasn't responsible for the play call. He said the players on the field made the call themselves. Just think about that, though. Just think about that. This is an NFL head coach. Well, this is a beta male disguised as an NFL head coach. But this dude just admitted publicly that his team defied him. His players disrespected his authority. Can you imagine this happening to Sean Payton, Bill Belichick, Mike Tomlin, Jim Harbaugh, Nick Saban? How can you imagine this happening to a head coach at the high school level, the peewee level? If you're Dennis Allen, this is absolutely embarrassing, and you did it to yourself. Unless one of the players came out and admitted this publicly, no one would have known about it. You could have went into the offseason with a modicum of respect from the fan base. Fans were actually giving you credit here. For the first time, they were giving you compliments, praise. And what do you do about it? What does Dennis Allen do? 
He proves why he should not be a head coach. He proves people like me were right all along. This dude is not a leader. He is not capable of coaching at this level. Dennis Allen is a sheep trying to lead a pack of wolves. It never works. I told you guys weeks ago. I told you guys weeks ago what happens when you have a sheep trying to lead wolves. The wolves devour the sheep. And that is exactly what happened in the Superdome today. Players on this roster, they were tired of Dennis Allen being a pussy. They were tired of the nice guy routine. They were tired of playing it safe. Final offensive play of the season, players took control of their own destiny ran the ball and ran the play they wanted to run, a touchdown. They defied their head coach. Now, if you're Mickey Loomis, there is absolutely no way you can bring Dennis Allen back next season. The players don't respect him. The fans don't respect him. Opposing players and head coaches don't respect him. There is no way you can run it back with Dennis Allen. Before this game, I thought the biggest consequence of Dennis Allen returning next season would be a decline in season ticket sales. After this press conference, if you bring back Dennis Allen, there might be a mutiny in New Orleans. The city of New Orleans will love you if you give them a reason. Very forgiving city. Case in point, Derek Carr. Derek Carr's been disliked all season. Looks good in the final stretch of games. He's starting to win people over. If there is one thing, though, that this fan base will not tolerate, it's weakness, weak men. New Orleans is a tough blue-collar city. Weak men aren't respected. Now, this would be bad enough for Dennis Allen if what happened in this press conference were an isolated incident of weakness, but this is two consecutive years of weak behavior. This is two consecutive years of a complete lack of leadership. Going to be interesting to see how Mickey Loomis handles this. I'm not the only one pissed off. Dennis Allen, he is being absolutely destroyed right now. I think I'm probably speaking for the majority of the fan base. We'll find out tomorrow morning, though, if this was enough to get Dennis Allen fired. Do I think it will happen? Absolutely not. All right, rant over. It's almost 5 o'clock. I got to go watch the Pelicans now. Appreciate you guys listening to me rant. I'll see you guys tomorrow.